Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the solubility and electrical conductivity of simple molecular substances. In the last video we started looking at simple molecular substances. Remember that simple molecular substances have got small molecules with a fixed number of atoms. We've already seen that simple molecular substances have low melting and boiling points and that's because they have weak intermolecular forces. In this video we're going to be looking at the solubility of simple molecular substances and also their electrical conductivity. So let's start by looking at the solubility. Now I should just point out that solubility is a complex subject and there are no definite rules. I'll be showing you the general rules but you need to remember that there are always exceptions. The key idea you need to understand is that the solubility of a simple molecular substance depends on whether the substance is polar or nonpolar. Iodine is a good example of a nonpolar simple molecular substance. Remember that iodine is a solid at room temperature and pressure, and the iodine molecules are held in the simple molecular lattice by London forces. Now, the general rule is that nonpolar substances like iodine dissolve very well in nonpolar solvents. A good example of a nonpolar solvent is cyclohexane. When a nonpolar substance like iodine dissolves in a non-polar solvent. The solvent molecules form London forces to the iodine molecules. In contrast, non-polar substances are usually insoluble in polar solvents. A good example of a polar solvent is water. As we've seen, water molecules form hydrogen bonds to each other. So if we add iodine to water, the water molecules remain hydrogen bonded to each other rather than forming London forces with iodine molecules. And this means that iodine is insoluble in water. OK, so what about simple molecular substances that are polar? Well, again, the general rule is that polar substances dissolve in polar solvents. I'm showing you here the molecule glucose. Now, in the solid form, glucose molecules form a range of intermolecular forces with each other. London forces, hydrogen bonds, and permanent dipole-dipole interactions will all be acting. And if we add glucose to water, then we'll see the same intermolecular forces between the glucose molecules and the water molecules. So this means that polar substances such as glucose are highly soluble in polar solvents such as water. However, polar substances are usually insoluble in non-polar solvents. OK, we're going to finish now by looking at the electrical conductivity of simple molecular substances. Now, an electrical current is a flow of charged particles. For example, in a metal, the charged particles are delocalised electrons, whereas in a molten ionic compound, the charged particles are mobile ions. Now, a key idea you need to learn is that simple molecular substances do not contain mobile charged particles. And because of this, Simple molecular substances cannot conduct electricity. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the solubility and electrical conductivity of simple molecular substances. 